We all know the old saying, what goes up must come down. But will the S&P 500 obey the laws of gravity? The uh, S&P 500, in terms of the US markets, has been in a, a five-year plus cyclical bull market. Um, so that in itself is sort of a, you know, reason number one to be a little bit more cautious. Now, I think there was enough reason to be cautious already over the past three months or so. But we're now, additionally to that, also coming into a seasonally weak period, which is basically the month of September and arguably also the month of October. So at least at the margin, we could see a, an uptick in volatility heading into this period and sort of adding that to the fact that we've been into a long single bull market. I think it's time to take some chips off the table. After the surge in U.S. stocks, there's a sense of where are we now? What's the best strategy? From a trading perspective, the way you want to approach this is really tactical. Uh, and that's to say you want to take trades to make them. In other words, you, you take trades, you take profits, you take trades, you take profits. You don't pile into like a 90% long position or 90% short position at this point because we haven't confirmed any actual price weakness in, in, in that sense. And peering over the horizon, what next for the U.S. stock markets? We have in the past week or so had surprising strength in the financial sector, which is actually not something you want to bet against because that tends to hold up the market pretty well, which is also why I think through the end of this week or so, we could see continued strength uh, into a long weekend. But if you look at the bigger picture, you look at important stocks like housing stocks, industrials, energy, uh, transportation stocks, look at stocks like FedEx, starting to show some relative weakness, which they haven't done in years. Um, small caps, the Russell 2000, we've discussed that before. Um, very crucial parts of the market that have showed relative weakness and in the bigger picture I think that will eventually weigh on uh, the S&P 500 and the broader US stock market. And how high could the S&P 500 go? The 2000 mark and the S&P 500 uh, is just a psychologically important level whether that actually matters or not is sort of up for grabs. Uh, but I think more importantly here we have two options now. Either the market starts consolidating and sort of goes a little bit sideways, a little bit down, but doesn't really actually fall apart, which is the best case for the bulls, in which case we could see a, mass, a massive stampede into year end, which is sort of out of consensus to some extent. Um, or uh, we have a so-called pop and drop, which I keep referring to, and it's my preferred scenario. We sort of see a move maybe to, to 2010 so to, uh, or 2020, something like that in the S&P 500, and ultimately we just get one nasty bearish reversal for whatever news flash there might be. It'll just be an excuse to sell.